I'm really upset about this new story that I'm about to bring you because all of these videos um, that YouTube pretty much took down for me was videos that will be very important right now, okay? I was a minister of information for the Black Holocaust Society, okay? And I talked to y'all a lot of times about the last program that we had. We gave homage to James Cameron for his not just elusive escape from the one rope that was in the picture, but we pay homage to him because there was no one in the annals of history who was that famous, who had actual a picture with an empty noose for him, except he escaped, right? So a lot of my information that I was bringing was from our book. Oh. There was articles from Ida B. Wells, of course. As y'all can see, I'm trying to waste a little time because y'all know what happens. So if I was allowed to continue to bring this information. Ain't no damn telling. Here we go. How far we will be right now to see just how deviant how much of a problem the time that we're living in without any representation. Now, you might say, what are you talking about? You sound like you talk crazy. Let me give you all this story and then we're going to talk about this because I think it has to be a mass push in terms of black people are concerned. We concerned that Joe Biden needs to sign an executive order about like he signed that Asian bill. He going to have to sign a, a, a bill for sons and daughters of the slaves for, for fun, uh, uh, descendants of slaves. Right now, it's not even questionable. If he don't, don't vote for nobody. You better get your shit together and understand what the signs of the time really is. Because the story I'm getting ready to give to you is an Armand Ombre, Travis Greg McMichael, imitation okay so in, two white men were arrested earlier this week days after a black delivery van accused him of chasing him and shooting at him after he dropped off a package in Mississippi City the driver D. Monterio Gibson 24 on Friday said he doesn't believe that the police took him serious at first and his attorneys say both suspects have been under charge and should face charges of attempted murder. They are charged these fools with just aggravated assault. Oh, I'm not done. Let me just let me let, let, let me just go further. We can't go we can't go further with this shit, y'all. This has got to garner some attention. All hands on deck. Especially in Mississippi. <sighs> Nobody was injured, but the chase and gunfire have sparked social media complaints of racism in Brookhaven, Mississippi, about 55 miles south of Jackson. And the pushback in local media from the city's black police chief, Sheriff Clark. Okay, I, I'm in a town where we had a fuck, fucking Sheriff Clark who was an embarrassment. Who grew up in Berryland Project? Well, everybody know uh, David. He nobody thought he's not 
a Republican. He's not a Democrat. I don't know what the hell Sheriff Clark was a big ass hypocrite. Okay? Y'all thought y'all knew who he was. Okay? But what I do know is that he's a he was wife batter. Okay? That I do know. Oh, I guess we're supposed to say allegedly. But if it's public record, then I don't know if it is. He's known to beat some ass from his women. Let, let's just move on. So this is another police chief here who is black. I don't trust nothing he say if he hasn't charged these people with murder, attempted murder. Gregory Case and his son Brandon Case were arrested and released on bond Tuesday in connection with allegedly the January 24th attack on Gibson 24. Gregory Case faces a charge of conspiracy. And Brandon K. shooting into a motor vehicle. Did y'all hear me? They chased him down. He's in a FedEx truck. He's a FedEx driver with a FedEx uniform on. Lawyers say Gibson. Lawyers for Gibson say more serious. including hate crimes charges, are warranted in what they believe was a racially motivated assault. I want them both charged with attempted murder, said Carlos Moore on Friday. Moore attorney and attorney James Bryant compared the incident to the killing of Ahmaud Arbery, a 25-year-old black man who was running empty-handed through a Georgia subdivision in 2020 when three white strangers chased him down and blasted him with a shotgun. The white men included a father and son, and they were convicted of murder and sentenced to life. Defense lawyers said they suspected he com he had committed crimes in their neighborhood, but prosecutors said there was no evidence of that. Of course, Brookhaven, with a population that is 68% black, is in Lincoln City, where District Attorney D. Bates said information will be presented to the grand jury for a decision on charges once police complete the investigation of Gibson incident? Witnesses, including Gibson, will be able to testify. Gibson told Associated Press on Friday that he was in uniform when the incident happened. He said he was in a van rented by FedEx, but it did not have a FedEx logo on it. He pulled into a driveway and dropped off a package sometimes after 7 p.m. before he turned his van around in the driveway to exit. And then he noticed a white pickup truck pulling away from another house on the same large lot. He said the pickup driver tried to cut him off as he exited the driveway. So Gibson said he swerved around him and then encountered a second man. He says, I drive down about two or three houses and there's another guy standing in the middle of the street with a gun pointed at my vehicle. The man motioned for him to stop. I'm looking at him like I'm shaking my head because why would I stop for somebody with a gun? Gibson said the man fired as he drove away, damaging the van and packages inside. He said the white pickup truck chased him to the interstate near Brookhaven before ending the chase. Later, police told local news outlets that the elder uh, case was the suspected pickup driver, while Brandon Case was the man in the street. Gregory Case is 58 and his son is 35, just like Greg McMichael. So Greg and, and 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 his son Brandon Gibson said he he called the police and was told by one officer that the police had received a call about a suspicious person at the same address. At the same time, I said, "Sir, I'm not a suspicious person. I'm a FedEx worker. I'm just out here doing my job, and these people shot at me." The cases have not commented publicly on their arrest. The, 
municipal clerk office in Brookhaven said Friday morning that it had not yet received paperwork on their arrest or information of their attorneys. Police Chief Kenny Collins did not return phone calls from the AP seeking more information. These guys should be in jail right now. There is no sane and logical reason why these white men are not in jail. Earlier this week, Collins, who is black, pushed back against allegations on social media of racism in Brooklyn. We're not going to have outsiders try, coming in and trying to stir that up, he told the Daily. Oh, my God. Brookhaven is not a racist, prejudiced town. You can't judge a town by the actions of two individuals. People need to be careful what they post on social media, Collins said. If somebody is killed or hurt because of what you post on social media, then you will be charged too. Now, this is the smoke he got for them, but he ain't got none for the people that chased this man and chased him and shot at him. See, it's black people like that that's got to be the first to go. And when I say go, I mean go for a race. Okay? They got to be the first ones. We can't tolerate that kind of madness. We had one here in the city, in the city Willie Hines, who I grew up with. He off the Common Council now because he said there was no racism in Milwaukee after Jeffrey Dahmer ate all them black people and the way that whole candle uh, uh, situation was handled. He had the nerve to say something that's stupid. You got black people at Juneteenth Day attacking white people, kicking them in the heads, jumping on their cars, and he's saying there's not a race problem? Seville Smith was shot by somebody he knew, the officer who later ended up being a sexual predator, raping people, giving them drugs. But it's not a race problem. Black and white. Police and civilians. Y'all, this happened to be a, a very crazy story. And um, I'm very disappointed that these people are not held in jail. Because that's what should be happening right now. Check this story out, y'all. It's, it's, it's too crazy. FedEx worker. And so the lawyers are demanding serious charges um, after this. Because this is too sick. All right. Ooh, if you like what you hear, please subscribe and share to the channel. I'll see you in the next video.